Hey Pisces, welcome back to my channel. I'm glad you all could join me for another week of your general reading. So I hope you all are staying safe, taking care of yourselves, and just being your wonderful selves. So as you know, this is the channel where I give it to you straight, no chaser, but with compassion. But if there are some messages in here that don't necessarily resonate with you or that you don't agree with, that's perfectly fine. Leave them at the door, leave them on the floor for somebody else. They will come along and pick them up. If you all want a personal reading with me, Check the description box and I'm here for you. That's how to get in contact with me. So I shuffled the cards before I started uh, recording the video and I'm shuffling them again, as you can see. So we're gonna um, figure out what's coming out. Now Diana Ross is playing in my head. I'm coming out. Look, <laughs> if that applies to you, then that applies. If not, oh well. All right. <clears throat> So we have the temptation card and then we have suffering in silence. So I feel like somebody has been going through a dark period right now um, and a dark period, maybe just dealing with their own. It could be, could be, so, okay. And I'll say it this way. And as you all know, these um, energies, they can apply to anything in your life, whether this is family, friends, relationships, lovers, children, um, work, money, school, it doesn't really matter. I'm just here to tell the story. So I'm just going to tell it the way that it's being presented. And then the little thoughts and things that come to my head. Um, somebody has been dealing, I think, with some maybe less than positive traits. Maybe some things that they are not necessarily proud of. Uh, you know, dealing with some some kind of obsessions. You know, it could be some kind of obsession with something. It could be some kind of addiction as well. So they're suffering through this addiction. Now, this addiction can mean anything. You know, there are plenty of addictions out there. There are plenty of things out there that we are uh, susceptible to. Even addictive, um, you know, codependency. Codependent relationships are addictive. So... This is some, you know, just saying codependent relationships, um, you know, just relying on the other person or always needing some kind of relationship or needing someone to kind of pick up the slack and maybe just always needing, ne always needing someone. But here's the secret. Here's the key. We don't need anyone. Yes, it is great to have support. Yes, it's great to have relationships. Yes, it's great to have people in our corner. But we don't need anyone. We need ourselves. We work on ourselves. We work on our own issues. We work on our own baggage that we all tend to have. We work on our own healing. We can't place the healing on someone else's shoulders when they are trying to do their own healing as well. So codependent um, relationship is something that just specifically dropped in my head right there. Somebody's dealing with a codependent relationship or they're dealing with some kind of um, obsessive behavior or maybe obsessed with somebody. Hell, somebody could be obsessed with the other person. So again, I'm not saying this is you, Pisces. This could be someone in your energy. But all I'm saying is whoever this is for, somebody is suffering because they are trying to deal with some uh, behaviors and trying to deal with some patterns that... Some patterns that really are not working for them anymore. Maybe they worked in the past, but now I feel as if things have kind of caught up with someone. And, you know, it's giving them a lot of anxiety. It's giving them a lot of depression. You know, some sleepless nights. And they're just not in a really good place right now. But as I said, <clears throat> once we take inventory of what it is that we really need to work on and what it, what it is that we really need to heal within ourselves, then that's when the work and the magic starts to happen. So all is not lost right here. However, if you are dealing with somebody who is obsessed with you, that's codependency right there. Okay, so you might need to look out for those things. <laughs> um, then we have solitude. And then we have the sacral um, chakra. And you all should be familiar with the uh, chakras. I think I mentioned it 
before, but if not, then I'm going to go into a little brief synopsis. The chakras are energy systems within our bodies that deal with the way how we process just different things. You know, as um, for instance, the sacral chakra is the second chakra within our body and it's located below the belly button in that area and it's represented by the color orange and it deals with the way that we process emotions right there it deals with our creativity um someone could be alone i'm hearing like a songwriter or like writing or something because i mean that's something creative something artful so somebody is you know right now needing to work on their emotions and as i said their emotions have been tied up or maybe they've been ignoring their emotions and they've just been um doing whatever it is they've been doing you know right here they've been masking those emotions but now this is as i said it's caught something has caught up with someone so now they're they really have to process their emotions and this means that they really have to go within that they have to look within themselves that they have to figure out what it is that they need to um work on some things that they need to release some things that they need to let go of and they're on a journey you know by themselves they're trying to get in touch with their own emotions again trying to process their emotions process their emotions there could have been a breakup there could have been a loss there could have been something that um something that has just that ended you know, or it could have been, you know, it could have been death as well. So these situations can apply to anything. So as I said, I'm just here to tell the story. You all put the energies where they fit. But somebody is definitely on some kind of soul searching journey, processing their emotions in some way and probably using, um, you know, their creative outlets to get away from the toxic behaviors. You know what I mean? Next, we have new beginnings. And then we have the light. That's gorgeous. That's beautiful right there. So that's saying that, as I said, all is not lost. All is not lost. We all get into this place sometimes of feeling alone, feeling empty, feeling as if we are, um, you know, we're, 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 we're uh, displaying, you know, less than positive behaviors. We're doing less than positive things, you know. And when I say that, you know, there's a time for pl and place for everything. There's a balance, you know, we're here to enjoy life. So I'm not saying that we shouldn't enjoy, but what I'm saying is I feel as if somebody has been enjoying too much with whatever this is. And that was a mask with them really needing to really get in touch with themselves or their own, you know, emotions and things. So with this new beginnings and this light card that's just saying that yeah as i said all is not lost um getting out of this behavior will, en will enable some kind of new beginning or you know just stepping out on faith so i'm feeling as if somebody needs to really step out on faith and go towards the light i know that's so cliche right there but there is the, look at the, the look at the juxtaposition of these two cards this dark energy right here, this temptation versus the light. This card represents the devil in the tarot, actually. You know, and that uh, card represents, just as I said, that toxic behavior, just patterns, obsessions, a dark place. Feeling as if someone is chained to these things or chained to someone toxic or something of that nature. But this is saying, taking that chance and taking that leap of faith to get out of this situation or whatever it is, um, you know, that the person needs to do, this will enable them to go towards something that is better, some, the light. You know, they'll be able to see, they can be, they'll be able to see, um, you know, all the things that they've been through and why they had to go through these things in order to get to this place. So somebody really needs to just take a chance, take a chance on yourself. Take a chance on um, whatever it is that you think might be better because staying in this comfort zone, staying in this place, that's only going to keep someone here suffering. And I feel as if they want to change, they want to move, they want to do something, but they're a bit afraid right now or they're a bit apprehensive about doing that. But it's okay. We are here for you. Material and spiritual prosperity, see right there. And then we have transformation. 
This card came out, transformation card actually came out for um, Cancer's reading and it came out in the same um, exact position as well. So somebody might be, somebody, somebody is struggling with the change. That's what it is. Somebody is struggling with this change, knowing that there are some things that need to change, knowing there are some behaviors and patterns and just maybe their own ways of thinking, changing out of toxic relationships, um, friendships, family, um, anything. As I said, they're, 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 they know that a change needs to happen because here we go with the transformation card and the new beginning card, new beginnings. As I said, that's taking a chance on something, stepping out on faith. Somebody is not trusting their faith or they're not trusting their own intuition or trusting the universe because maybe they've been in such a dark space for so long or maybe they've been dealing with, um, uh, you know, people <laughs> who may not be really doing them any good or anything. They've been dealing with this for so long that they're, they're, okay, they're afraid to see, they're, they're afraid to move, but then also what I'm getting is they're afraid to really um, step into themselves. That's the thing. They know that there's so much potential. There's so much that they have you know, to give so much good that they can do. So just a lot. They have a lot within them. Like I said, somebody is very creative here. Somebody is very artistic in a lot of ways. And I specifically, you know, received, because I hear a lot of music all the time, you know, music, so songwriting, you know, just now I'm seeing piano notes in my head and just song notes and things. So somebody is dealing with some kind of music or maybe they listen to music. That's their outlet or something. That's a creative outlet. But I feel as if this person, they can put so much more energy into that and, 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 and really make something happen, you know, really cause some kind, really bring themselves some, um, some success with that. But the thing is, somebody is afraid of success. Somebody is afraid of success. So as I say, this energy is past, present or future. So, uh, you know, it doesn't. If it hasn't happened, then it might be coming up. So be on the lookout for that. So if you have been through this, Pisces, um, then congratulations. Great job on you. If you were able to work your way out of this uh, behavior, you know, feeling chained in this dark space and using some kind of creative outlet to really take a chance and then, um, you know, change in some way and maybe change your change your outlook on life, change your... your um, you know, your finances, change your pockets, <laughs> your pocketbooks, your wallet, whatever, change your finances, whatever it is, it doesn't matter, but it's just saying changing to find some kind of victory. But I know there, there are somebody, somebody out there, they're afraid of that change because they know that there's so much, they know that, that it's a lot of work to change and to do this. And I think that's what keeps someone um, stuck in place and they struggle with that as well. But change is good. Change is very good. Speaking of change, I can't make this shit up. Speaking of change, we have obstacles and challenges. And I say change because this is the number five. And the number five represents the, uh, the uh, energy of change, release. Okay. How fun. And I'm a Capricorn. I'm a Capricorn. This card, Temptation, represents the Capricorn in the traditional tarot. As I said, look at this. Um, I said breaking the chains, right? Breaking the chains right here. Then we have this number five right there, which is changing. Transformation card, new beginnings. Somebody is needing to change something. Change something. I don't know what that something is, but... <clears throat> it, you're needing to overcome the obstacles. So releasing and changing from this negative behavior or whoever it is who might be around you who might be exhibiting this behavior. But like I said, obstacles and challenges. Yeah, partnerships and alliances. Um, You know, needing to get through the hurdles right now, needing to get overcome the challenges. And one of the biggest challenges right now that somebody's experiencing is um, I feel dealing with themselves. 
some as I said, I can't get this out of my mind. Something has caught up with someone. I don't know what that something is, but they're needing to really get over that forgive them forgive themselves too. Forgiveness. Forgive themselves, but also learning how to forgive other people. And forgiveness comes in time. So, you know, I'm not going to get on here and just say that everybody who has done you wrong or done someone wrong, they need to just forgive right off the bat. That's not how forgiveness works. Um, But I will say, when we get to a place of forgiveness and when we get to a place of wanting to forgive, we need to start first forgiving ourselves. We need to start first forgiving ourselves. And I feel as if this is the energy that somebody is in or that they are leading up to, um, you know, at some point. The biggest hurdle is getting out of their own way. The biggest hurdle is actually acknowledging things that are going on and then them taking inventory, them taking stock into what it is that needs to change. Because this is a time to rebuild. This is a time to build for themselves and not only build for themselves, but also, excuse me, build for their families. Build for their friends. Build a legacy towards something. Have a help. Have people come to give them a helping hand to do this. So somebody is feeling alone right now, suffering in silence. But all you have to do is ask for help. Ask for help, and you can get over this challenge. Our people are there to help you in some way. So if if you know you are out there, you know, whoever this video is talking to, could be the Pisces or it could be somebody dealing with a Pisces. Um, You know, what I'll just say is, if you are in a position of needing some kind of help or some kind of assistance, don't feel as if you need to suffer alone by yourself. There are people out there who are always willing to help you in some way. Next, we have the fertility card. And then we have Memories of love. So there's something from the past. Um, you know, maybe something from... And maybe this is another reason why somebody is suffering in silence. Because there are some things from the past. Memories of love, as the card says. But it's just very nostalgic. There's something very nostalgic about this. And maybe they're remembering other people, you know, from the past. Or other things. And... You know, I think the more and more that these memories play or the more and more that they think about these things, then that's what was, that's, how do I want to say this? Like I said, they're trying to mask something. So maybe dealing with other, you know, just toxic things and people, behaviors and things, covering those things up. Maybe they were trying to deal with those things to cover up those memories or cover up that nostalgia and things. Um, but this is going forward in this situation. So it's saying that there's something from the past. Something from the past may grow into something, um, you know, grow into something better. You know, there's potential for growth here, you know, in some way. Some people could be dealing with, um, you know, a mother, maybe having mother issues. Or there's something with a mother right there. But, uh, you know, just again, maybe even thinking about, you know... <clears throat> Um, memories of your mom or something from the past you know something of that nature but what I'm saying is whatever this is that someone is thinking about from the past maybe there is a chance for things to grow now so if something did not necessarily work out you know previously maybe it just took a bit of a reset to get back there and now things can grow now things are fertile now things are you know somebody could be pregnant too or somebody just had a baby i just said fertile but fertility right there it doesn't matter what it is something is growing something from the past might grow into something more or something better but mainly what somebody is needing to do is i just feel forgive themselves first and foremost and then um you know just let things come step by step that's it so pisces um i love you all take care if you need to book a personal reading with me um my information is in the description box so you all take care god bless you stay safe and bye-bye